The California Institute for Quantitative Biosciences QB3 is a non-profit research and technology commercialization institute spanning three University of California campuses in the San Francisco Bay Area, UC Berkeley, UCSF, and UC Santa Cruz. QB3's domain is the quantitative biosciences, areas of biology in which advances are chiefly made by scientists applying techniques from physics, chemistry, engineering, and computer science. History QB3 was founded in 2000 as one of four Governor Gray Davis Institutes for Science and Innovation originally, California Institutes for Science and Innovation, or Cal ISIS. From a 2005 article written for the University of California Systemwide Senate, the institutes were launched in 2000 as an ambitious statewide initiative to support research in fields that were recognized as critical to the economic growth of the state. Biomedicine, bioengineering, nanosystems, telecommunications and information technology. Moreover, the Cal ISIS were conceived as a catalytic partnership between university research interests and private industry that could expand the state economy into new industries and markets and speed the movement of innovation from the laboratory into people's daily lives. Governor's Budget Summary 2001-02. The four research centers operate as a partnership among the university, state government, and industry, and each involves structured collaborations among campuses, disciplines, academics researchers, research professional, and students. Topic. Leadership QB3 is directed by Regis B. Kelly, a neuroscientist formerly executive vice chancellor at UCSF from 2001 to 2004. Kelly's office is in the central QB3 office suite at the UCSF Mission Bay campus. On each UC campus, QB3 is led by a campus director, who is an active research scientist, at UC Berkeley, Susan Marcusi, at UCSF, Nevin Krogan, at UC Santa Cruz, David Hausler. Topic. Faculty Research faculty are the foundation of QB3. QB3 currently has about 240 faculty members, about 100 from UC Berkeley, 85 from UCSF, and 55 from UC Santa Cruz. The research interests of these faculty fall under the umbrella of the quantitative biosciences. QB3 scientists tend to be bioengineers, biophysicists, or pharmaceutical or computational biologists. Synthetic biology is strongly represented. Current and former members of QB3 include Shuvo Roy, Elizabeth Blackburn, Stephen Chu, Joseph DeRisi, David Hausler, Jay Kiesling, Arun Majumdar, and Harry Noller. Topic research QB3 member scientists choose affiliations with one of nine research themes, biological imaging, visualizing biological systems at all scales, atoms, cells, organs biomaterials and stem cells, development of biomaterials and stem cells for biotechnology and therapeutic applications. Biomolecular structure and mechanism, structure, function and dynamics of macromolecules Cellular dynamics, biochemical and biophysical analysis of cellular processes, visualizing biological systems at all scales, atoms, cells, organs Chemical biology, applying the tools of chemistry to biology, aiding in drug discovery and interrogation of biology Genotype to phenotype, harvesting the information in genomes and the effect of variation Precision measurement and control of biological biological systems, developing the ability to mechanically, optically or chemically alter and monitor biology for interrogation and diagnostics. Synthetic biology, design, redesign and construction of new biological parts, devices, and systems. Theoretical modeling of biological systems, theoretical and computational analysis of macromolecules, biological systems, and interpretation of experimental data. Topic. Activities 
A major function of QB3 is to make connections between scientists in different disciplines and between entrepreneurial scientists and business mentors and venture capitalists. QB3 administers buildings custom designed to facilitate interaction and core facilities intended to bring together researchers from different fields. QB3 also provides networking services for applied research and technology commercialization. QB3 is not a technology transfer office and does not handle patent applications. Topic: Startups. QB3 assists life science entrepreneurs in the San Francisco Bay Area seeking to commercialize their research. Pre-commercial funding QB3 supports basic and applied research on the biology of aging-related disease through its partnership with Calico Company. Incubators QB3 operates one full-service incubator QB3 at 953 and two campus incubators, and is a partner in an affiliated shared med tech laboratory StartX QB3 Labs near the Stanford campus in Palo Alto. The QB3 garage at UCSF was founded in September 2006 in Byers Hall on the UCSF Mission Bay campus, and the QB3 garage at Berkeley was launched in April 2010 in Stanley Hall on the UC Berkeley campus. The garages offer laboratory space to spin-off companies affiliated with the University of California. Garage tenants pay market rates for increments as small as 120 square feet 11 square meters and have the opportunity to use QB3 core scientific facilities but pay standard rates. There is a time limit of two years for occupancy. In April 2011, QB3 and Wareham Development, a real estate company, announced that a 9,300 square foot 860 square meters space in West Berkeley would house the QB3 East Bay Incubator, which launched in June 2011. The status of the QB3 EBIC as a multi-company space is currently uncertain. In May 2013, QB3 and Dewey Land Company announced a partnership to renovate and outfit a 24,000-square-foot former warehouse in San Francisco's Dogpatch neighborhood as a full-service life science incubator. The building, QB3 at 953, opened in October 2013. Now fully occupied, the building houses about 45 startups. The number fluctuates as tenants leave and move in. In August 2014, QB3 and StartX announced a partnership in a med tech incubator, named StartX QB3 Labs, located near the Stanford campus and Stanford Medical Center in Palo Alto. It has the capacity to house 16 companies. Seed Stage Venture Funding In 2009, QB3 Director Regis Kelly and Associate Director Douglas Crawford established Mission Bay Capital, LLC MBC, a venture capital firm currently with $36 million under management. MBC's portfolio currently includes Redwood Bioscience, a company based on aldehyde tagging. Technology developed in the UC Berkeley Laboratory of Professor Carolyn Bertozzi, now at Stanford, and Calithera, a cancer therapeutics startup launched by UCSF Professor Jim Wells. QB3 Collaborative Startups In May 2013 QB3 announced a partnership with major industry allies Bayer, Novartis, Pfizer, and Roche to identify and fund promising life science startups in the San Francisco Bay Area. QB3 Startup in a Box The QB3 Startup in a Box program provides scientist entrepreneurs with resources to start a company, such as legal advice and banking services. <laughs> <laughs> Education QB3 is involved in a number of educational initiatives. UC Berkeley Biophysics, in 2012 QB3 became administrators of the Biophysics Graduate PhD program at UC Berkeley. Graduate Program in Computational and Genomic Biology, QB3 is affiliated with the Doctoral Program in Computational and Genomic Biology at UC Berkeley. Synthetic Biology Engineering Research Center Sinberg, sends a team to the annual International Genetically Engineered Machine IGEM competition. Administrated by QB3. 
Undergraduate internships, at QB3 Berkeley, staff coordinate undergraduate summer internships with biotech companies in the Bay Area. QB3 does not offer accredited courses, nor does it hire faculty. Topic. Campus sites In July 2011, QB3 announced that it was reorganizing internally to concentrate entrepreneurial activities and industry partnerships into a division called the Inalap, and that the campus sites would focus on academic research. UCSF, Byers Hall on the Mission Bay campus. Byers Hall, officially opened in 2005, also currently hosts the QB3 Director's Office and QB3 Central Administration. Many faculty labs are in Genentech Hall, an adjoining building. UC Berkeley, Stanley Hall, although many QB3 faculty labs are located elsewhere on campus. UC Santa Cruz, QB3 forms part of the Center for Biomolecular Science and Engineering, and occupies space in the Physical Sciences Building and Engineering II. <laughs> <laughs> 